Hello, welcome to FMOD in two minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today, we're talking about command instruments. Really, really cool feature of FMOD. Here we go. I'm going to present an example of a scenario that I had on an early project that I was working on called Elder Souls. And I'm going to show you what I did versus what I could do had I known about command instruments at the time. So imagine you're playing a Souls-like game, you've just died, you hear this stinger to signify that you've failed, basically. And then after that, you're presented with a menu and a choice. Do I continue or do I quit? And whilst that is happening, whilst that decision making process is happening, I want this ambient loop to be playing in the background. Now, I try to put this all in one event to make it as easy as possible for the programmer. But the issue with what I've done here is that I want it to smoothly crossfade from the stinger into the loop, which I've done by adding these X crossfades really easily in FMOD, which sounded great. However, when it loops back around, I hear the tail of the stinger. All right, which is ugly. So that was one issue. The other issue was playing the outro stinger. So when the decision was made, the player would hear a sound like this. What we ended up doing was um, a lot of editing and more coding and programming than we really needed to do. So I'm gonna show you now an easy way to avoid all of that and do most of the heavy lifting in FMOD by yourself. Instead of having this loop in the same event as the intro, I would copy this and delete it and then add a new event and I would copy it, paste it into there. Let's get rid of this crossfade and add a loop region because I know it loops perfectly. Now back to the intro, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna add something called a command instrument, right? Command instruments are great. Essentially they command other things to happen inside of FMOD, right? If I have it selected and I go down here, you can see at the moment the command type is on start event. I have a whole bunch of other options available. Today we're just gonna concern ourselves with start event. So I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna set the target to the event that we just created, which was the loop. Now what happens? When I play it and the cursor goes over this little block of the command instrument, the loop will start playing in this event and you should hear it in the background. Here we go. Cool, right, to finish it off, when I have the outro, I want the outro to tell the, the loop to stop playing. So similarly, I've added another command instrument and then down here, I'm going to select stop event. Again, find my event in the menu, stop the loop. If I start playing this loop now, open another tab. Pretty cool, right? This is just one very simple way of using it. What I've done here is essentially minimize this whole part of the game into essentially just asking for two events to be played. One being the intro, when this menu appears and when the player dies, and one for the outro, when they make their decision. And I handle everything else in between. It means I also don't have to bother the programmer or the dev with this idea. If this was a late on idea thinking, oh, I need an ambience for this menu, I can add it myself and I don't have to bother them. I can just put it in the game and they can be pleasantly surprised when they hear it being like, wow, that's really cool. As always, there are many ways to do the same thing in FMOD. That's why FMOD is so creative and so, so much fun and so powerful. Use this as an example to maybe spark off another idea and maybe improve what I've done here. Like that's the whole point of this series. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it useful.